When uninstalling programs and apps in Windows, they'll often leave behind files and other remnants that are no longer needed. So to tidy up your system and free up disk space, I'll show you how to remove the registry data, leftover files and folders, along with the temporary files to completely remove those programs and associated junk from your computer. For this first one, we'll be opening the registry editor. One of two ways to open it is to go to the search bar and type registry editor. Select it. Another way to open it is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus R. In the run dialog box, type regedit. Click OK. Now for the disclaimer, prior to making any changes in the registry, including deleting keys, you should always create a backup first in the off chance that Windows becomes unusable. If you don't know how, I'll put a link to our Windows Registry Backup and Restore tutorial in the description. Now to delete the registry keys for the program you just uninstalled, go to H key Local Machine. Double clicking on any of the folder icons will expand them. Go to Software. Now find the program you just uninstalled. In this example, I just uninstalled Foxit Reader. In the registry, it's located inside a parent folder called Foxit Software. Since I'm no longer using any software from Foxit, I'll right click on Foxit Software. And from the menu, select Delete to get rid of everything inside that folder, including Foxit Reader. To confirm that you want to delete the key and subkeys, click on Yes. And now it's gone. More often than not, after uninstalling programs from your computer, they'll leave behind folders and files that are no longer needed. To remove these, open up the File Explorer. The quickest way to open it is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus E. If you don't see your drives listed, go to the left pane and click on this PC. Now open your installation drive which for most of you will be the C drive. The two most likely folders you'll want to check are Program Files and Program Files x86. First check Program Files. The folder I'm looking for is Foxit Software. I don't see it listed, so let's go back. Now let's check Program Files x86. Here it is. To delete any folder, right click on it. If you're on Windows 10 or older, you'll click on Delete somewhere in the menu. On Windows 11, click the trash can icon to delete it. Now we'll continue to delete unneeded folders and files located elsewhere. For this one, press the Windows key plus R. In the Run dialog box, enter percentage, the word app, followed by data, and percentage and click on OK. You'll now see the roaming subfolder within the app data folder. In here, go through and delete any folders and files you no longer need. Here I'll delete two folders associated with Foxit. Now here in the upper left of the window, click on the up arrow. This will take you to the app data folder. Go into the local folder and remove any unneeded folders. Let's go back and do the same in the local low folder. The last of our steps to remove the remnants of uninstalled programs is to delete the temporary files. In the search box, do a search for Disk Cleanup. Select it. Select the drive where the program was uninstalled. In my case, that would be the C drive. Click OK. Look for Temporary Files. Tick the checkbox next to it. Then click on OK. In the pop-up, it'll ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Click on Delete Files. Now following all of these steps,
will keep your computer more tidy and free up space without having to use third-party tools that can sometimes be unreliable. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this video and what types of tutorials you'd like to see us cover. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tutorials for Windows and other tech-related stuff.